It did not hit the muncher that time. I was so, it was so low. I did hit the muncher, god damn it. You can always find new things to play. Sometimes they're new, sometimes they're old. This one's pretty new, I think. Burning Star 2 from Pixabit Nick. I'm pretty sure we played the first one, but I don't remember half the things I played. Um, we've got a deluxe edition here. It came out a few weeks ago. It's a 16 exit expert. It's a shell hack. And it's got uh, backdrops, re-grab shell jumps, drops, juggles, and more. Um, and each level explores a different theme or trick. There's a trailer, and we're playing the 1.2. There is uh, uh, the new the deluxe levels. When you finish it, you get a hint. You know, we'll look out for that one. It's got a 5 or 3 ratings. Revlog said it was fun. A little de derivative, but it's quite lenient. Um, the difficulty in performing the tricks, not performing them while worrying about awkward lineups. Um, if you aren't comfortable with shell stuff, it's a great place to get used to some harder tricks like backdrops, regrab shell jumps, and others. Oh, I can't wait for the others. Uh, Ricardo liked the hack, and is making a speedrun leaderboard. Uh, Fail said it was really enjoyable, very lenient. Uh, great if you're looking to refine your shell skills and work your way up to tougher expert shell hacks. I'd like to refine my shell skills, for sure. There is a clears video, and it's difficile. Uh, title screen's cool, you just falling start with a bump, I would assume. Do a Z into low bounce. That's probably a bump. I can only guess. Something's going on here. There's a lot of shells. Oh, rope shell. And then... I don't know what's on the 1F0, why that's there. Uh, you can do net shell stuff. Which is cool. You can duck slide with ice physics. Uh, you can do a shell jump and grab a P-switch. There's a springboard available in a, a left level. I don't know, are these sprite killers? They probably are, I can't tell. Ah, uh, Yoshi, P-Switch, something happens there. Yeah, up, forward, maybe. Do a shell jump, and then something happens there, I don't know. Look, we're in space, shells in space. The first one, now the first one wasn't a shell hack, I think, but it had some shell stuff. Apparently there was a shell level somewhere in it. Let's do Burning Star to... how many exits was it? It's like 16? Oh my goodness, welcome home. Yo Luigi, I know you're the Shell Master, so check out the next level here in Burning Star, it's really cool. By the way, I heard all pipe transitions are midways in the game auto save, so keep that in mind GLHF little bro. Yeah. I think this is just the home, the eerie home. Uh, paradigm shift. Falling start. What's, uh, am I supposed to go over there? I guess so, huh? All right. Bit of shells never hurt anybody except for their hands. Wait, what is that? I thought that was going to be a bump, but you clearly pick it up and up throw it. So that's clearly going to be a high bounce and then it collects in a bucket on the right. All right. Pipe transitions to checkpoints, but I went back. Because you can. Why would you... Why would you go back, though? Dude, what is this? Why are his feet wiggling? Wait, 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 what? 
Why do his feet still wiggle for a moment after jumping? Is that nor- that doesn't seem normal to me. But, okay, okay, you do this. Somehow that works eventually. Alright. Take a dump. It comes out in a hum. A big bundle bunch. Da o o d d do woo woo b d do wop. Ba ba a a da d k d wa o o d d do woo woo b. Like what? What the hell is that? Can I go straight to this? Ah. And then. Nice. Love that. Better coffee will happen. Okay, it's, it's only because you made a big deal about it that you can't stand that I drink instant coffee. Better coffee will happen. We got through it eventually. That was hard. Second half was hard, right? Into the unknown. Where is the unknown? Where could it be? Oh, here it is. Let's go ectogenesis. Hmm. This is like a forward or something. Boing up forward. See, that doesn't. Why doesn't that work? Because I'm supposed to kick the shell at this guy. Get some more distance. Alright. Then. I had to kick the shell. And I don't know what the blue one's for. It's a fun hack and I'm gonna hate it? Yeah, yeah, I can tell. How do, you, how do you start to not hate playing shell hacks? You gotta play them, you gotta play through the annoyance and just deal with it. Yeah, okay, so that's not what you do, obviously. It's nothing to land on there, it's, it's gotta be a stupid backdrop. Okay, 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 wah, 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 ha, ha, the jumping, the bouncing, ah, ah, ha, ha, this is crazy. Where, where's the blue shell? It's one of those people that's very good at video games and many other things. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? I do the move. <laughs> oh. I break the breakable block. I eject the Cooper to the right. What more do you, what more do you want from me? Dump the prune, the o prune, the s prune, the chips, spoon here, and a prune, a prune, a juice, spoon. I dump the prune, a juice, prune, a sea prune, a juice, can thol prune, a pookie dump, the prune, the o prune, a juice, prune, a prune, a prune, a prune, a prune, a prune, a juice. Alright, so it doesn't have to be a forward. Give me a back. Which is good. What? Why is... Why was there... Why, what were those coins for? You gotta be kidding me. I, I didn't understand the coins. And I shouldn't have looked at them. Because they just confused me. What am I doing again? The, the coin, the second coin, like, that didn't make any sense. I, the coins there are way more confusing than, like, 
I could have made that the first time I got there, like half an hour ago. Uh, but anyway, the level's great. 10 out of 10. What a... Th this word level. not doing what I think it's going to do. There we go. Said then something there. Relax move. It's really the best early as I could. I don't feel good about any of that. Um I don't, okay, so there's clearly like some juggles there, right? So I throw up. It was coming down around there. You know what? I have no idea. I'm gonna look at it in action again. So that would be, okay, that's where that one's gonna go up. I don't know if I go up behind that one though. very straightforward. I thought the levels were supposed to get harder, I guess. We got a little bit of a break in the third level. Anyway, Electric Sunrise. Now here, oh, what am I looking at? Oh man, alright. What is that? What does that mean? What are you? It's got to be a forward bump. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Let me get some more coffee. I'm going to be higher than that. But why? Uh, just. Okay. Listen. What if you just put the shell on the 1F0 so I could see that it was going to be there? Why did it have to drop? What am I doing? Is there any more info? No, there's no more info available. So I think I, I'm just sort of bumping and I, I can only assume that the arrow means to throw the shell that I got off the 1F0 and to bump that one backwards and then it'll probably rebound somewhere we're probably doing a Z. If I'm just I'm not sure. I think there's a Z there. Nailed it, I called the Z. Right. Well that's the first I've gotten. So I make a point to not edit out the long TTS messages for YouTube? Yeah sometimes. Sometimes I leave them in because I think they're cool or funny or interesting. Sometimes they're over the top of well, what I'm trying to talk about. I'll chop, I'll chop them out if they're not timed super well for the timing of the video. Otherwise, you know, the TTS, it's part of the, part of the thing. It's part of the experience for sure. Dude, I keep doing that so late. Dude, I can never get that sh that throw off at the right time. It's it, it doesn't feel right. Yeah, nice.
There we go. You had to crush the end. No big deal. Oh, I, it was a good idea to take my hand off the controller. I just realized how much my right hand is suffering from that. Let's have a look at Lunartic. Luigi start. Uh, what is this? Is this like back shot or something? I like that. And then forwards. Uh, I don't think that's what that is. I had to grab the rope first. What's the shell for? I, okay, it's just to do a little jump there, grab the thing. I'd love to know where the line guide ends. It's, it's kind of hard to see. Okay, so. Now I know what happens when it goes through the rope. I just get stuck and I fall approximately onto that bat. So like, what am I doing here? I'm doing like, you just have to have a timing for a low bounce off that, which is extremely tough because like your momentum resets like a tile above it. That's, okay, okay. So the problem is, I was too far to the left. Too low. Um, Glitch Cat was making, yeah, yeah. I'm saving and loading every one. Like, if Glitch Cat is making a shellac and he's save stating every second to get through it while making it, it's not a, a hack that is designed for people to play. That's messed up. That's super messed up. Maybe that's what people said about the stuff it was making five, six years ago. It's probably ahead of the curve. I wouldn't. It just sounds like misery. Like to me, I don't. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but that's why. That's why I'm, you know, different, and everyone's different. I I couldn't stand doing that. I'd feel like a fraud if I was doing it. Another pretty chill level, I guess. It wasn't too bad at all. We gotta put a cap in it for tonight though. It's only gonna get worse and my hand is only gonna hurt more and more. Anyway, let's look at Aviaticus. Does that mean we're gonna fly? It means we're gonna do shells in the sky. What is, oh, it's a backdrop, isn't it? I'm gonna find a good way to do that. I don't like the that like up throw off the ground thing, I just want to say. I really hate it. Yeah, we're definitely not making it. All right. Thanks for the show. Yeah, all right. That is what you do. Boy, oh, I wonder what that move's gonna be. Okay, 
Two shells, same place. Got it. Oh. I see. It's right there. See, then we get another shell. Okay. <laughs> if I wasn't bad, we could have done that. I thought that might happen, but it didn't happen last time, so I was like, it'll be fine. Okay, it's alright. A short level. I had to do a couple of moves. All right, cool. Only three backdrops. It was fine. It was the hardest part. Was actually just the 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 thing where you throw the shell against the wall, not the drops. I think though the second one off the bat was hard to line up. The problem was I was wasn't throwing that shell with enough speed. I was trying to do like neutral speed kind of throws. Which is no good, because if you do it where the bat is, it's too high. If you do it the tile to the left of the bat, it's too low. So I had to do a, a you know, throw with speed at the tile to the left of the bat. And then it worked for me. That's what worked for me. I don't know if it's going to work for everyone else. Maybe there's a better way to do it. But that's what I had to work out. Barry of Fusion. I don't know what that means. It means that we have to have uh, a mushroom. Some people don't realize you can control the speed of your shell throws. Yeah, those people are the people that play Sheffy too. If you want to know my understanding of, of shells, which is, as you can see, is not bad. It's like, it's not good, it's not bad. Shells have, like, a natural speed. They have a speed that they just go at, regardless of if you bump it or whatever. Like, if you bump it, you get the natural shell speed, whatever that is. But if you throw a shell, it also adds 50% of your speed on top of that base value. And that's all I know about shell speed. It truly was a skill check. I gotta throw that earlier, I guess, or I'm losing... I can't choose how much speed I start losing there. Alright, so I'm not... yeah, right, I understand that now. There we go. Alright, make sure we're holding down when we get in there. Yeah, like all Y when we get in there. No, that one you don't bump. That one is... we just... Uh, do something. I'm gonna assume that's like a Mario Killer sprite pass. I guess those are 1F0s or something. <laughs> so just take damage, fool. <laughs> what? That's fine. That's fine. Clearly, it probably hit the muncher, I guess, because I did it too close. But, you know, it's, I had the right idea. Okay. Jump, jump. Okay, what happened? Was that too low that time? Certainly, it, it did not hit the muncher that time. I was so, it was so low. I did hit the muncher. God damn it. Alright. Okay. 
I see what the next thing is. Okay. I thought I had to pull back for it. Where's the goal? With that one tile thing, it's like you need to approach the bump after the switch hits in a consistent way so that you know what timing you're going to use for the shell throw afterwards. And I think the lower I was, the easier it became. You want to use the bump to set it up? Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, eventually figure it out. Cosmic Ocean is this next level. Uh, what is this, like the up throw trick, you know? Uh oh. Uh, I, I gotta remember how this uh, juggle. I'm bad at juggles. I'm gonna have a bad time in this one. It's like, it's like that kind of thing. Yeah, swaps. About that, then. Unless I just take the bump further. Mm -hmm. Now I see. Alright. A shell gets kicked at you there. Oh, uh, where'd the P-switch go? bump. So like the piece which comes back, we're just sending it over the top of the screen. I think that's the one point of confusion that's gone now. And then shell jump there. That's a rope one way from that way. Where was that shell? There. Bounce on the thing. Back shot and then do a, is it a forward? Where's the wall on the right? It ain't there. Okay. So like, then that would, if I'd found a lineup for that. Bounce over there. One, two, three. That fell way earlier than I thought. Up throw, back, grab it on the way over. And that's it. Alright. <sighs> I 
Okay. So, um, I guess YOLO. Alright, now my thumb has pins and needles. It's kind of numb. We got it eventually. Oh boy. Quick preview. See what this simulation is. Left. It's bad. Wait, is that a left backdrop? Uh, boy, we're gonna have fun with that one next time.